Now, I know I've never done a video like this at all in the past. I'm going to try something new. So, I recently got a hold of this new card game called Lowdown. And it was a little bit confusing, but eventually I figured it out. So, each player starts with nine cards. And then afterwards, you arrange them in a 3x3 three three grid. And I should have made room for the draw pile and discard pile, but you do that with both. You do that with each player. Oh dear. Don't want to mess things up. It's easy to get this. And then, and then each player flips two cards from their grid face up. The rest need to be face down, so there's a three. This guy flips a one. Now this guy will flip over a nine. As well as a seven. So then, once done, you take. Once everyone's flipped over their two cards from their grid, you take the top card from the draw pile and put it up to start a discard pile. So, uh, when it's your turn, you get to pick up a card. Now the now the instructions don't say. But you get to take a look, and it's a negative 5. Now, negative 5. So, what you could do is you could put it face up or face down. It's best to put it face down if you want to hide it. And then you could, so you could put it over another card, either face up or face down. The card that was previously there then gets removed, flipped face up, and put in the discard pile. Now, this guy's going to put it face up, so he sees the 6, he puts it face up right here. And then this goes into the discard pile. It was a 0, oops. Now, he picks up the 7, puts it here, so right here, it's right here that he, that's it, and places 6. Now, uh, As you can clearly see, not all of these cards are the same color. <laughs> and I'll get more into why later on, but uh, and one thing you can actually do, and I'm glad I actually caught this, is you can actually take from the discard pile. So I'm going to swap out this 5 for the 6. I'll explain why I did that later on. And then I will look at this. It's a 4. He puts it here in place of the 6. He puts it face up. Now. Sees the 9. He says he doesn't want to play. He puts it back. In the discard pile. But this gives you the opportunity to look at a card in your grid. So he sees that's a 7. And he flips, and then you can either flip it face up like this. Or leave it face down. So he's going to leave it face down. I'll explain. The reason. For this. And then. What. Can be done afterwards. Is uh, later on uh, then when he chooses not to play a card, he can choose to flip that one up. So this guy here then puts this card up. He s picks it up, and it is a now. This is actually an action card. It is a steal. Now action cards can only be used if you pick them up from the draw pile, and you can either choose to play them down like normal or use the action card.
So, so the steal, what he's going to do is he's going to take the seven for the face down card that he peeked at to see it's a yellow seven. And then it goes to the bottom of the discard pile. And then it goes over to this player's turn. Uh, now this player here picks up the 6, swaps it with the 9 down here, which goes into the discard pile. This guy here on left then picks this up, sees it's a 4, puts it here, face down. Exchange of a 0. Now since that was an action card already in the grid, it can't be used. So then this guy on the right takes the zero, swaps out the seven for it. If I can do it right. Now the guy on the left then picks up a peak card. You can tell if it's a peak card by this little tab right here. And when you get that, you get to take a look at any card from either your grid or someone else's grid. So he's going to look at this. I see it's a 5. Now you normally want to go like this. And oh, <sighs> wasn't supposed to fling like that. Uh, I think it's because of this. And then afterwards you put it at the bottom. Now if it's a peak card, you get to take another card and play it like normal. So it's a 10, so he chooses that. Now, and he... And he peeks at this to see the five. And he flips it. So, uh, now, there's one action card that I haven't yet gotten to. Okay, this is a nine, so he'll. This here, there's one action card I haven't yet gotten to. Uh, it, it's a swap. It looks something like this. And what do you do? This is a negative five. I'm gonna. For and what you do when you pick one up is I'm actually kind of glad I know each of these well. Is that when you pick up one, you actually swap the card. You actually swap a card. You swap two of your cards. I'll get in. I'll demonstrate that later on. About the swapping cards. You swap two cards from your grid. Now, and now I'm going to demonstrate it now that I've picked up a peak. A swap. Sorry. Swap card. I didn't mean to say peak. I'm just. <laughs> the last action card was a peak. So he swaps these two. And then this goes onto the bottom of the discard pile. Now. If you pay close attention, I'm going to switch into the far lens. But if you pay close attention, you will see, and I know this is shaking, but you'll see that they're the same color. That means that they get cleared. Switch it back. They get cleared, and they're placed at the bottom of the discard pile. Now that... Because that effectively ends this player's turn. Goes over to here. So he. Puts the four here where the one is. And makes a diagonal three in a row match. And. You're supposed to go on the bottom. And then this guy on the right picks up a peak, but he doesn't use the peak function. Instead, he swaps his five. So now it no longer works as a peak card. So now this guy here will pick up a five. Swap the six. Now this guy here, not knowing what this is, puts the ten. In the middle. No, he doesn't need it. And he peeks at this. He says it's a 7. 
Now, normally you don't want to do this, but I'm doing it for the purpose of this demonstration. And then you could just put it face up or face down. So this guy here, he knows what this is. So he picks this up, chooses it off to the side, flips up the negative five. Now this actually effectively ends the hand as he no longer has any face down cards. Another way to end the hand is by running out the draw pile. So this guy flips him up. Now if you do make up if you do end up getting any uh color three in a row color matches, uh, you may make them. But now, uh, as we can see here, this player's got 10 points as the negative fives basically eliminate these. So 10 points over here. And then this looks like 12. This looks like 12 points. Because the twos are basically knocked out. And the seven is basically turned into a six. So yeah, twelve. So. When a player hits 50 points. Whoever has the lowest score. Wins. Now I'm not going to do another hand. Since I've basically explained everything. Um. Although I didn't mention one, I, there was one thing I actually forgot about the negative five. If I find a negative five, uh, it acts as a wild. So here's a negative five. It acts as a wild card. So uh, I, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but the negative fives can act as a wild. And you can actually make three in a row matches with negative fives. So let me kind of go over what one would look like. So this is what a three in a row match would look like th from a negative five. So you could do this, but you would then lose the advantage of the negative five. As a result. So choose wisely what you want to do with the negative fives. So I'm actually going to, so this is actually the end of the video. I know it's uh, rather short, but try to narrow it down as short as possible. Uh, make sure to give this video a like, comment down below, what else you'd like to see, subscribe, activate the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos. I'll see you in my next one.